in the last video we discussed about the birth of Shakuntala she was the daughter of Menika and Rishi Vishwamitra but was abandoned by both of them and ultimately she was brought up in the ashram of Rishi Kanva. It is in this ashram where she met with King Dushyant and they both got married. Ultimately they had a son named Bharat who ultimately became the king. Now this is the time when he as a king expanded the boundaries of the entire Hastinapur in all the directions that we know and it is this king that India is named after. Today India is also called Bharat Varsh and it is called Bharat Varsh because it is the land that was established by King Bharat himself. And also this is the time King Bharat is the first person, the first king in the lineup who established a hybrid democratic system in that time period. So how this democratic system worked was not basically based on complete election of any person but instead of a selection by the king who the public actually deemed fit to be the king. What happened was King Bharat had nine children, nine sons of his own but he realized none of them was worthy to handle a big umpire as big as Hastinapur. Therefore, he was confused and consulted Rishi Kanva. Rishi Kanva told him that just thinking about choosing one of his sons makes him just like any other king and that he has to come up with something more, with something new that promotes karma, as we say, dharma and karma. So here, Rishi Kanva told Bharat to go for a king for the future based on their own karma. This is when King Bharat decides that he would choose um, Bhumanyu. Bhumanyu as the king and he did not let his sons succeed him. Although many people objected, almost all of his ministers, his advisors objected to the decision but he stood by his firm decision and that is where the, the democratic system began. One might call this as not being democratic but for that time where the monarchy was a continuous system choosing someone who was deemed to be fit by the public and selecting him to succeed a king was actually a system of democratic um, selection uh, not the election but definitely a democratic selection this lineup continued in the same way and it was then established that the king of Hastinapur which is also called Bharat by now will always be chosen based on the karma the deeds they do rather than the lineage they are born in hence the legacy continues until King Shantanu becomes the king this is the point in time where the countdown to Mahabharat and the great verses of Gita that came during the war of Mahabharat would start. We will discuss about this in the later videos. For now, this is just where the stage is set for all the events that will follow. Thank you for watching Hinduism, Vedic Chronicles and Karma.